new exhibit on display at the Rich Theater and Museum, and it's all about the Dance Theater of Harlem School, which was founded in 1969 to ignite positive social change following the assassination of Martin Luther King Jr. It also broke the belief that ballet could not be performed by those of African descent. Now, this new exhibit gives us a unique way to experience that story. Joining us now to tell us all about it, we welcome the director of theaters at SMG, Jacksonville, Miss Stacey Aubrey, and the Rich Theater and Museum Administrator, Adonna Cotola. <laughs> hey, y'all. Hello. Hi. How, how are you? We're wonderful. Thank you guys for being here. And you're injured and you're still here. Oh, uh, you are. A that one wing. <laughs> yeah. oh, yeah. To SMG and the city of Jacksonville. <laughs> so speaking of SMG, tell us how SMG is a part of the Rich Theater and Museum, because the average person would not know that. Well, um, for those of you that don't know, SMG does manage six venues here in Jacksonville. We manage um, the Times Union Center for Performing Arts. We manage the Prime Osborne Convention Center. We um, manage the Veterans Memorial Arena. And then across the street, we have the baseball grounds and Everbank Field. And then we have the Ritz Theater and Museum. Yay! Located on Davis Street. Wow. So it's a, it's a hidden gem in Jacksonville. And um, more people need to know about it mm -hmm. and visit True it that. and mm -hmm. share in the amazing experience that it offers. I will never forget my first experience in the Rich Theater. I think it was with you. It was with me. Oh, I, uh, <laughs> wow. Just wow. You have got to treat yourself. Everyone should treat themselves. It is amazing. There's so many stories there. So many stories. So speaking of which, the Dance Theater of Harlem, tell us the story behind this. Well, in uh, 1969, um, Arthur Mitchell, who at that time was the premier dancer of the New York Ballet, and he had been that since 1955, mm. and he traveled the world, and he was the principal dancer. When Dr. King was assassinated, it it gave him the idea I needed to go. He needed to go back to Harlem and offer opportunities for children in the neighborhood he grew up in with these talents. And he also uh, was wanting to open the door to African Americans or those of African descent to ballet. So for those who don't understand, ballet was considered an elite mm -hmm. art mm -hmm. form yep. from U Europe. Mm -hmm. And so American ballet companies were trying to find that niche to make themselves separate. And from he was, I think, the first principal right. African-American exactly. right. dancer oh, in wow. the history oh, wow. right. um, of ballet, which right. that alone was such a huge right. monumental. Mm -hmm. Right. So um, when he, so, uh, and just the idea of him bringing it together and making it happen at the, in the basement of a church. Mm. And uh, within a year, they had over 800 students. Wow. wow. And they made their first debut in 1971 at the Guggenheim. And so those wonderful pictures are there. That's what you will see. You will see a timeline of uh, Mr. Mitchell's career. You will also see um, four sets of the, some of their most popular ballets. Uh, one of them is Dougalo. Dougalo is one of the original created by the actor Jeffrey Holder. Many people know him as an actor. But he designed and choreographed the um, ballet. You will see the actual costumes that the that dancers wore. And what you will notice as you look at all the different sets is that when you look at the costumes, you, won't, you wouldn't think they were ballet costumes because um, you think of ballet as the tutu. Mm -hmm. yeah. But these garments are voluptuous, their their volume and you wouldn't how would you how are you able to dance mm -hmm. with all that material? Well they show you. And so there's yeah. video that allows you to see some of the movements and Dance Theater Harlem really distinguished itself from the other ballets, not only because it was an African American, mostly African American dancers, but the talent was there. Mm -hmm. um, the um, George Balanchine was Arthur Mitchell's mentor, and when the dance company started, uh, Balanchine told him, "You can have any dance you want, any you want, take it. You can have it." And he really had the support he needed to make that dance company happen. So it's really exciting. You have to come see it. There's mm -hmm. just I'm describing it to you, but to see it in person, yeah. totally and then different. I have to tell you, there are 
people from Jacksonville who danced with the Dance Theater of Harlem. Are so, you really? Yes. Yeah, yeah. So you have to come. Oh, so it's wow. not just that it's national, international, it's Jacksonville right. history. Mm -hmm. And that is what people don't really understand about African American history. Here in Jacksonville, it is national mm -hmm. history. It, when you talk about James Weller Johnson, yeah. Eartha White, yeah. um, I just came from a museum conference and, you know, my colleagues, they know, they're like, what's going on there? Oh, we're coming to see you. Um, we just have that national presence. People mm -hmm. know who we are. Um, and it's such and, a nice And it's a, a nice beautiful museum. facility. Mm -hmm. And I think that's what people are surprised yeah. at how beautiful it is. So it is a lovely venue. I mean, when you walk in the building alone, in the lobby, we get a lot of oohs and ahs. Yeah. And then you see the, how beautifully the exhibits are laid out, and it's very inviting. And what's special about our museum is that we have artifacts that belong to the people we're talking about. Wow. So people have donated their family heirlooms to us, and they c come and when family comes to town, they yeah. bring them to see, here's mm -hmm. the piano, here's the gloves, here. So um, it's a beautiful facility. If you've not been, you're really missing out. And um, someone that lives out of town should not know more about what's in your town. Right. Oh, so absolutely. I'm just gonna tell you. Yeah. Um, and so if you've never been, you should come. You will be pleasantly surprised. And you know it has to be great when little kids are fascinated and they don't want to leave the museum. Wow. So it's the ma so it's a wonderful experience. If you've not come, please come. It's good for and it's for good for locals and it it as Jacksonville's growing um, and bringing more and more national and international artists to Jacksonville. I mean, we can see that. Um, we have Jazz Fest coming up this yes. this oh, weekend, oh, exactly. and also as part of Jazz Fest, we have um, a jazz clinic in the Ritz. Oh, theater wow. and, and so Saturday. then you can go Perfect and see weekend. the museum exhibit as well and it's right like today what a great day to stay inside how long is the exhibit going to be at the Ritz the exhibit is through July 31st Correct. Um, and it was we have to thank for sure our um, sponsors who helped make this happen the Coley Foundation the Community Foundation you know museums just like um, Players by the Sea everything yeah. takes sponsorship mm -hmm. and we encourage everyone to think about the Ritz when you're out and about and to yeah. learn about all this history. We have a great historian with us. Um, we're fortunate to have Adonica yeah. who knows so much about it. Yes, treat um, yourself and go to the Ritz. Ladies, we have to wrap it up now. We want to thank you both for being here. Thank you. Thank you. And the I'm Dance Theater sure. of Harlem exhibit will be up now through July 31st. Through July 31st, people. You got For more me. information, you <laughs> can visit jacksevent.com. We will be right back. Is your body storing fat more easily? Do you